Arguably, technical education is fundamental in making remarkable contributions to nation building. This time tested fact is why developed nations have invested heavily in institutions to train their people and equip them with the skill set giving them options in the labor market that have ultimately put them on a sustainable path of economic growth and development. Regrettably, like most developing countries, Nigeria for a long time jettisoned technical education that would have equipped her teeming populace with requisite skills. They have wasted time and resources dwelling on abstract areas and emphasizing paper qualifications. Unfortunately, this wrong policy direction has created a vast lacuna in producing a quality technical workforce that could drive the nation's economy. Consequently, the country has become a consuming nation without the required technical skills to produce anything. Technical education is as important as oxygen to life because Everywhere there's growth, everywhere there's civilization, everywhere there's technological advancement, it all goes down to technical education. So for a developing country like Nigeria, the importance cannot be overemphasized. It means that the education that will make jobs to come, that will reduce unemployment, that will reduce crime rate, is technical education. Having identified this obvious lacuna in the system, the Delta State government under the watch of Senator Dr. Arthur Fanyokoa was determined to avoid this obvious pitfall that has put the nation on oxygen. What did he do? At the inception of his administration, he convened an education summit that identified technical education as the way to go. This will produce a more skillful population equally bridge the workforce gap in the state and nation and create entrepreneurs and job creators. The whole idea was to look at statistics of our youth, look at the level of migration, look at the challenges that we have, look at why there is an, a rural urban drift. And we narrowed down to search for white collar job. So we decided to rejig the entire system. And that also led us to be able to accentuate that we need to be catching these children from cradle. And that's why the expansion of technical colleges came on stream. We are running technical education and vocational education and entrepreneurship across our tertiary institutions. To fleshing out this new policy direction, the government started by renovating the existing six technical colleges, which can now boast of improved and upgraded infrastructures and equipment. We realized that the technical colleges were in highly deplorable condition. Their infrastructure, equipment, and the technical colleges were nothing to write home about as they were in all in deplorable condition. But His Excellency Governor took the bull by the horn by first revamping these six technical colleges and also having them equipped optimally to ensure that the training facilities are up to standard. Dr. Ifan Okowa, he has done marvelously well. He is trying to bring back the era of evocation. It creates employment, and then on the long run, people become their own boss. It's very good. We all need technical education because we need technocrats, we need the engineers, we need the technicians, and we lack most of those things in our educational system. And this is a welcome development. To further expand access across the 25 local government areas of the state, the governor in 2019 promised 19 more technical colleges, out of which three were recently completed in Uwe, Obiaruko, and Asaba, respectively.
Aside from putting in place well-equipped gigantic structures, the government has ensured the recruitment of qualified teachers to man these institutions. This exercise, which took place earlier in the year, had thousands of applicants undergo the rigorous selection process. Over 500 of these applicants successfully filled the position of teaching and non-teaching staff. I must applaud the Okowa-led administration for his wonderful input to fortify the workforce of the state. Also, setting up of more technical colleges, yes, is a good thing. It's a good one since they are trying to use merits because that's one of the main things. Technical education, mostly there is practical work. And to me, practical work are more important than the theory. When you teach people theory aspects and they are not doing the practical, it's more or less like they've not learned anything. Our governor has done a great work. I've seen the structures, the facilities there, they are wonderful. And I believe that I can work there. We are here to distribute or collect our letter of appointment. Just very recently, the newly recruited teachers on completion of the process gathered at the Unity Hall, Government House, Asaba. They were given employment letters and charged to carry on their new jobs dutifully. So overwhelmed with joy. Speaking with some of these newly recruited teachers, they expressed gratitude to the government of Senator Dr. Arthur Ifanyokawa for providing such an employment platform for the youths as they commended the governor's zeal and commitment to improving technical education in the state. Uh, it's a dream come true for me. I appreciate His Excellency Ifanyokawa for this opportunity and I promise to give him my very best to make sure we impact the children that are put under our care. This one that I've got tonight, I'm holding it strong and I'm not letting it go at all. I'm very excited and I want to thank the state governor for giving us this opportunity to serve in the technical board. For the process, there was really fairness all through it. It's 100% fair because I don't know anybody. I just feed the form online and for the exam, came for interview, just like that. To be sincere, I was not expecting it. The government organized training and orientation exercises for the new teachers to equip and retool them as they prepare to take on the new task. We want to see parents queue to have their children admitted to your own college. You are now in charge. Responsibility has been placed on your shoulders. You see textbooks deviating from the curriculum. But you, you throw away the curriculum, you throw away the scheme of work, you take the book. You don't even follow the sequence of the scheme of work but rather you follow the sequence in the book. At the end of the day, you have taught unwanted topics and you have neglected the wanted topics. That's why no matter who you are, you don't follow the sequence of a book. Follow the sequence of the curriculum. Speaking further on the importance of the training program, the Commissioner for Technical Education, Princess Shola Ogbemi Daibo, and an educationist, Godwin Edozier, applauded the state government's determination to improve technical education in the state. We have some ethics that they have to be taught. They need to go through this training for them to know what is expected of them and what they should do and how they should carry themselves as principal and teachers. After the training that posted to their schools, we will follow them up to make sure their tax is to be able to comport themselves, put themselves together and give the children the best that we have given to them. The essence of this orientation is to tune them to the fact that there is work to do, to prepare their minds for expectations so they don't receive shock when they assume duty. Guiding them through curriculum, which is the core of their work. We've spoken to the guidance counselors, we've spoken to those in charge of library, we've spoken to those who man the workshops, and uh, the laboratories and studios. And I, I believe they will leave expecting to confront the work and help the state to achieve the vision and mission for technical vocational education. Teachers like Daniel Isioma and Jethro Chukuka were present for the training. They registered their appreciation to the state government and pledged to use the opportunity to impact the younger ones. I feel so excited to be among the successful applicants that were selected for this job. Often in time, technical education has been a cause that nobody pay attention to. But now the governor has come out with a very good plan, which is called Smart Agenda. 
I'm, I'm so happy to be among the beneficiaries. Before, some of us were just uh, technical knowledge, just the technical level, and that's all. But now, I am happy the training is going on, and that is what we are expecting from the, this first of its kind. I want to let you know, uh, it's a turning point in the history of uh, technical colleges in Delta State. Ahead of resumption, the Smart Delta Media team paid a visit to the newly constructed Model Technical College in Uye to ascertain the level of preparedness given the incoming academic session. Coincidentally, upon our arrival, we met the newly employed teachers who converged on one of the classrooms, listening to the resounding voice of the vice principal, Mr. Lucky Utuagoma, as he gave them orientation on what was expected of every one of them on resumption. We want to make this special technical strategies in the name of the world, a modern technical school. We want to that by the end of the session, our results improve that this is a special school. And that will attract more attention to this school. So, I'm imploring every one of us here to be up and doing the preparation for the student and students coming. Done with their orientation. The Smart Delta Media team did not hesitate to speak with Mr. Lucky Utuagoma. This is what he had to say. Most of the teachers that are sent here, they are newly employed. And we felt that they must know the do's and the don'ts about teaching professions. And again, they must know how to handle students because most of them have not actually taught before. And uh, looking at the place alone, government have done a lot to put this place in order like this. And as such, we too must do our best to make sure that we create a standard that will befit the structure that is put here. We also sample the opinion of Mrs. Egalase Carroll, one of the newly appointed teachers. She said she couldn't wait for the academic session to kick start, while noting that the newly constructed technical college is an architectural masterpiece. I'm very, very excited when I'm transferred to this new technical college. The environment is so conducive and it's very, very okay for learning. Look at the structure alone. It does not look like Kuvu Secondary School. Governor Ko, I want to say big thank you for seeing this kind of massive structure as a technical college in Delta State. We met with Mr. Anthony Ngolu, the principal of the new technical college, who then led us to a series of practical workshops set up and ready for use. As we toured, Mr. Anthony did not waste time to express his delight over the level of the job done and also demonstrated to us how some of the equipment worked. This we call father of all machines. There is nothing you cannot do with this machine. Anything that has to do with iron. Not for me. There is everything else that by the time I am losing this, there must be spill of oil. Done with the tour, we had a brief chat with Mr. Anthony. He gave kudos to the state government for deploying resources and not compromising on the quality of equipment provided to aid learning, noting that all students, upon completion of their studies, will be equipped with the necessary skill set to become job creators. From the gate as you're coming, looking at the structure alone is enough to tell you what the state government is expecting from this place. With the facilities around, the issue of white collar job, for any student, that passed through here at the end of three years, the empowerment is 100% secured. I am assuring the governor that in the next one year, this place will be something else with my teachers around me. Other persons like Mrs. Lydia Ofoluafo and Omanya Jonbo also gave credence that all the state government has provided will no doubt enhance the teaching and learning process. This is one of the best things that has happened so far in Delta State, even to me, being here is amazing. It's, you know, most schools these days, what we have there, children learn more of theories. But here, it is totally different. We have everything for them. By the time they finish from this place, they are mm, outstanding. The newly posted teachers, we have given them some adoption how to teach the children. We have put in place teachers' subject distribution. We have also prepared our title for the incoming 
student. If you look around, they are beautiful infrastructure. The classroom are very powerful. The building are okay. And all these things we aid teaching and learning. We thank governor for providing this one for the student, for the teachers, and for everyone in Delta State. Clearly, the Delta State government has remained committed in its efforts in bridging the manpower gap in not just Delta State, but Nigeria at large. Few months ago, this was just a mere proclamation from Governor Ifan Yokoa. And today we have standing tall Model Technical College Uwe. This is yet another testament of promise made, promise fulfilled. Smart Delta. <laughs> Governor Okowa prioritized many things to advance the state, and one of them, the education. No be lie. I yes say Governor Okowa to approve the establishment of 22 new schools, including 9 primary schools and 30 secondary schools across the state. As we day yet they talk so, they go so inaugurate their three newly constructed technical colleges across the state. Uh, Debbie and uh, Madame Teresa, I they here on a discussion. You see, as Governor Okowa, they better the lives of the youths, the young ones for the state, through job creation and even education. Now, so we still they provide employment for the people of the state. Mm -hmm. I'm CM for news. The Delta State Ministry of Technical Education don't appoint over 500 newly recruited academic staff for the newly constructed Asaba, Efu, and Obiaroko Colleges of Technical Education. This Okowa government, they work. In fact, I never see any governor where they as proactive as Governor Okowa. You see, as part of measures aimed at urbanizing some communities in the three senatorial district in Delta State, Governor Okowa don't approve the construction and rehabilitation of more than 30 kilometers of road projects. Hey, <laughs> Governor Okowa, transforming lives, infrastructure, transforming everything. Governor Okowa, the transformer. Smart Delta. Consequently, academic activities had just started at the newly built Model Technical College Asaba. Upon arrival, Smart Delta's roving lenses caught eager parents going through the pasted list of admitted students. Parents and their wards who were successfully admitted could not contain their excitement. I am very happy to see this school in Delta State. We sounded some parents who shared with us their reason for choosing technical college rather than conventional secondary education for their wards. These days we don't see schools that teach our children how to do one thing or the other. Even for you to see somebody that will come and do small work in the house for you, small portion of work they will charge you very high because our youth these days are not learning anything. Even my two children that I want to register into this school that are very, very happy. In fact, they disturb me on a daily basis that when are they resuming, when are they resuming. I say God will bless the governor of the state. He has done well. My beginning make the exam. I'm very, very happy to see my beginning for a technical secondary school. And they greet your core for waiting to do for us. May God bless him. The technical school is fine, well, well. I'm proud of the school. Governor Okowa is a godsend to Delta by bringing this technical school, which we have been looking for ages. Now you can see the way children are running up and down. Most of them, they say they must be admitted into this school because all of them want to learn skill. In the same vein, new intakes like Uko Delight, Uwafo, Franklin, and Steven Dera share their thoughts on their new school and how it will help them achieve their future aspirations. Hear them. The school will help me so much because I love the school from the very first day I saw the school. And even if you leave the school, you must have something doing in life because there are a lot of things in this school to learn about. Governor Koa, I want to say a very big thank you for making this school a reality. Why I think this technical college would make a good school for me to learn is because of the facilities and also the classes they have. Another reason why I like this school is because of the standards and moral principles. I can't wait to start my class. The Governor Koa, I want to say a very big thank you for everything that I've done for us. I want to be in a technical college because I love constructing things. The school will help me achieve my goals because it's a school that constructs things. In case there's no job in future, I can become self-employed. 
Thank you, Governor Okowa. The Smart Delta team also spoke with the teachers, and just like their counterparts, they commended the efforts of the Okowa led administration. From the beautiful structures to the well equipped workshops and furnished classrooms, staff room, and much more, they noted that it is undoubtedly an enabling environment for teaching and learning. I believe that this technical education is another means. When you are through with it, it can still help as a way of creating job for oneself. The government already has a lot of problems for themselves already. So you need to be independent, you need to do things for yourself. And these technical colleges are actually the best place to give them that ground and foundation that they need to actually succeed. Going around here and seeing all the facilities here, it's really amazing what the governor has put forth here using now. As you know, this is a technical college and here more than just imparting knowledge the goal is to empower the young people with skills so right here we have a lot of workshops and laboratories and there's also a boarding facility here i think this is very important the staffs have not also been left out we have um, accommodation for the staff it's just an amazing facility coincidentally the smart delta team also met the commissioner for technical education princess shola ogbemi daibo on site she shared a few words with us. Take a listen. This is technical and you know, our notion about technical school before that is something different. But now, we could see the zeal because we new structures put in place by our amiable governor to make them know that we are ready to take on this because the world is going technical and things that are happening now is not just reading and writing, but you know, it's about using your skill acquisition and vocational studies. And that is what the governor is concentrating on now because it helps you know, to move our students, our children away from the street. Obi Aroko is also home to yet another new model technical college. And just like in other centers, the story of a well-equipped facility and serene environment suitable for learning is no different. Yeah. Not too long ago, Senator Dr. Arthur Ifanyokawa embarked on an inspection visit to the college to assess the level of work done so far. Satisfied with his findings, he urged the workers to pick up their pace and deliver on the job in good time to enable students to resume academic activities for the year. I sent for the contractor and told him this school must resume at the end of October. So it just has to put in a little more speed. But otherwise, the classrooms are essentially okay. The equipment is already on, on ground. There could be some other ancillary work that can be done after October. But by October, we should get this place ready because the teachers are already engaged for the school and the students also who are starting the school have uh, passed through the processes of the examinations and they are about getting fully admitted into the school. He added that adequate security will be provided for all technical colleges within the state to ensure the safety of both lives and properties. Security personnel are also employed and engaged for all the technical schools. Smart Delta Media also had a chat with the principal. She commended the government's policy to expand access to technical education. She also highlighted some of the facilities and equipment to aid the students while pointing out some of our plans for the school. With the equipment that are available, the students will be fully utilized. When they are through with theory aspect of it, they will not use the practical because the teachers that are on ground, we teach them using the equipment that are provided for the school. We are grateful to our governor because the children, by the time they graduate from this school, they will be self-employed. The environment and structures speaks volume of Governor Ifanyokowa's commitment to technical education. His vision stands him out as a leader who understands the demands of the modern era in national and global competitiveness. Knowledge, not natural resources, is the new resource. With 16 more technical colleges springing up in different parts of the state, Deltans are certain of better days ahead with a guarantee that leaders of tomorrow are equipped with practical skill sets to withstand the harsh realities of global economic crisis. Thank you for staying with us on today's episode of Smart Delta. I am Avida Oputa. See you next time. The feedback segment. Question of the day. I want to ask a question. People that are not aware of the entrance exam. There are more than people that wrote the entrance exam. So I don't know if there will be another opportunity for those that are not aware for them to 
come back and write a trans exam. Thank you very much, Mr. Isaac. Um, I'm so sorry that you didn't get to hear about our uh, announcements, time crier, radio, television, you know, but for now, admission is closed till next year september i'm very sorry about that and uh, we want to encourage you to that by next year for june july you start you know listening to radio because we did our advert on paper we did on radio we used time criers we did um, even pigeon english with some buses and vehicles around so we did all of that to make sure that we communicate to parents who are interested in our technical schools. So I want to urge all the attendants and all Nigerians and persons from across the world to continue to watch Smart Delta. They're doing so well. It's a good means of communication of what we do in Delta State. I'm quite excited that they've been getting the information out there. If you want to know a lot about what is going on in governance and development in Delta State, continue to watch Smart Delta. You will definitely be able to get all the information that you require. Text your questions to 0701337589 or send us a DM to all our social media platforms. It better run, run, come. Come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is the do you better. Run, come. Come to Delta State. Come and see the good things where Okowa is the do. I see your job and wealth creation in Delta. Make the youth say them higher. Okowa. I see good roads everywhere in Delta. Make the people say them cola. Everywhere. Come live in Delta. Say me, I say. Come invest in Delta. Come explore the potentials of our state.